Is social distancing enough to stop the spread of coronavirus? Obviously it's not and I'm going to have a quick trip on the metro and I'm going to show you how easy it is for something like a virus or bacteria and in particular coronavirus is to jump from one uh, person to another person. And the way I'm going to show you is using this awesome product that's called Glitterbug. And it's a product that is normally used for hand washing training but we're going to be using it to show how germs transfer. Glitterbug will glow under UV light so at the moment I've got quite a bit on my hands to show um, the transfer but once we touch other surfaces you won't see it until I show it with the UV torch so here we go let's head into the metro and let's see how easy it is for me to now spread my contaminated hands with the general public and if anyone touches this now they'll be picking up the coronavirus onto their own hands Opal makes it great because there's no contact here so most of the risk has been removed So I'm on the train and if I grab hold of one of the handrails then straight away if we have a look you can see bacteria or virus or in this case coronavirus will be jumping straight onto the surface that I'm holding onto and then the next person who comes along and then grabs hold of that will be transferring it straight to their hands. <coughs> <coughs> And now you can see that germs spread absolutely everywhere. So if you've got someone coughing around you, expect the entire area to be contaminated. And with coronavirus, it'll be contaminated for the next couple of hours. So the point of the video is to show how easy it is for germs and things like virus and bacteria to transfer from a sick person, myself, through to another surface and onto a person like yourself. Now, it's not to, to scare you, this has always been the case. Viruses and bacteria have been around there since the time Adam was a boy. But what I want to do is just reinforce the concept that it's really important that if you can stay home, to stay home. And if you do need to go out in public, if you do need to go out onto public transport you know, or into common areas, just realize that you will be picking up viruses. And at the moment, the risk of coronavirus is quite high. And so you need to do simple precautions. So as soon as you get the chance, wash your hands. Mm -hmm. Washing your hands with soap and water has been shown to be effective against coronavirus. So that's the best protection that you can do. If you don't have access to soap and water, then use a hand sanitizer. Taking these simple precautions and doing it regularly is the best thing that you can be doing to protect yourself against coronavirus. If you don't have to go out into public, if you don't have to use public transport, then don't. Stay safe and remember to wash your hands. Thanks a lot. Bye.